Hello everybody, welcome back to There's That Tarot. I'm gonna do a collective you versus them reading. I'm gonna see what the main issue is, if there's an issue. Nine times out of 10, you came to tarot for something that's been on your mind, something that you wanna know. So we're gonna look at the main issue between you and your person. Was it worth it? I feel like is what someone is asking themselves. All the time that I put in, all of the energy that I put in, the years, find uh, the you know resources. Was it worth it? Should I stop waiting on this? I'm starting to look at this thing from a different point of view now. It's like the clouds have cleared. Maybe somebody is realizing that I wasted my time. It's time for me to stand up for myself. This could be a masculine energy. Seven of Pentacles. So I'm gonna stop wasting my time. I'm not gonna do anything about this anymore. Oh, there could be someone else here. I got two masculine energies. There's someone here who is not budging. Maybe this is the person who... I got three masculine energies on the table. For some of you, I feel like there's a feminine energy who has taken on... who is, who is embodying more of a masculine. It's like, enough. I've put enough of my time and energy here and I, I'm not seeing any growth. And there's someone here who's desiring growth. Yeah, I figured it was a feminine energy because now the emperor is clarified by the queen of pentacles. So this is someone <clears throat> this is someone who's looking for that emperor. You know, this is someone who has high standards or I feel like they expect a lot from themselves. So it kind of translates to what they would expect for a partner. I, and I don't, I'm not picking up a really bougie vibe though. I feel like this is somebody who's very um, focused, very tunnel vision on whatever it is that they're doing. And I can't. I feel like this is someone who can't afford any confusion. I can't go to something, I can't go back to something that my heart is not in anymore. It could be a relationship. There's someone here, I feel like there's a feminine here who's avoiding someone, okay? I feel like somebody had a hard time with, um, maybe it was the masculine had a hard time opening up his feelings, you know? And I feel like with, I feel like with one person, this was two different love languages that was going on here. And I feel like one person may have been looking for more of an emotional investment. The other person may have thought that what they were giving was the investment. You know what I mean? Sometimes we just don't communicate these things. And it's like there's how it started and then there's what it became. And I feel like in the middle there was a lot of miscommunication, a lot of hurt feelings, a lot of misunderstandings. Could be some unintentional mistakes, some intentional. Pettiness. But a lot of love. Somebody here has gone cold, though. There's a masculine here. I was trying to decide if I should take this chance and 
tell this person how I feel. But there's a lot of insecurities when it comes to that. I feel like this person is, um, this uh, it could be a feminine energy who's very resentful and closed off. But he wants to hold on. I still love her. I want to reconnect. I'm just not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel yet. Let's look at person number one. I don't know what the gender may be. We're just gonna say number one's over here, number two's over here. You pick your side. So, number one's feelings. A star in the reverse, number two's feelings. Two of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. So number one feels like this is too hard. It's too hard. People could be telling me, don't do this. Don't go for this. They could be, you know, other people who are telling you about this or I don't know, it could be gossip. You two could just fight a lot, you know. If somebody struggles with living a traditional lifestyle or being committed. Why did this person lose hope? Mm. <laughs> it's not funny it's just the way that it happened I wish y'all could have seen this the song that's playing right now is called Getting Drunk and that's what this looks like you ever been with somebody who had an addiction this is what it looked like it causes a lot of stagnancy in the relationship. It's like everything is on pause. I also look at the uh, temperance in the reverse as a non-sober card because it doesn't represent balance. It represents the opposite of balance or patience or, you know, being on the right path. Somebody could have had a drinking problem. That could have ended things here. Ten of Wands in the reverse, nine of Wands in the reverse, death card. Something was imbalanced. Doesn't have to be, um, you know, an addiction or anything like that, but somebody here needed to slow things down. I also feel like, So whatever somebody had going on, it's like the other person knew. So number one, you knew that this was a problem with, with, with whoever this is. I don't know. Tell me in the comments how however this resonates. But somebody, their mind was never clear. So I'm getting that somebody was not sober a lot. Whether that's just being able to decide, like, you know, you always got that one friend that you can call. Or there's always that one friend, y'all go out and they don't drink. You know what I mean? So, you know, if they're there, everybody's going to get home. You know what I mean? I don't think this was that person. I guess that was a confirmation. <laughs> Let me turn my Bluetooth back on. It's like a windstorm outside. Bluetooth, both my Bluetooth done cut off since I didn't turn this video on. No, y'all. 
So somebody didn't have the capacity to really show up in this relationship, but they're still holding on. And I feel like it's a too little, too late vibe here. Virgo, Leo, Taurus, a lot of major arcanas here, Scorpio. Somebody's really stressed about coming back now. But this feminine is, is just, she's, she's not feeling like this is working. It's like it shouldn't be this hard. There's a big blockage here, but I'm seeing someone realizing that maybe this is something that I'm not going to be able to, to do. And I feel like one person is realizing it kind of after the fact. Person number two. Two of cups in the reverse, full card, Aries energy. It's like the passion is there, the fun, the act, you know, the attractiveness, the shell of a person is there. Not that they're a shell of a person, but, you know, the outer exterior lines up with where somebody wants to be. The emotions don't, though. And I feel like that's what broke the two up. It's like, it's not what you're doing. It's what you're not doing or something like that. It's like... <sighs> I got a friend, he always say, can't have it all. <laughs> it's the emotional part of the relationship that needs work. And I feel like somebody put a lot of time and effort into that. It's like, I tried. I really tried to work with you here because of how much I desire you. But Lord knows, I just felt... felt like the ground was shaking. I felt like we, we just, I, I, I feel like this person over here is saying, I don't feel stable, me, in this. You know what I mean? Like me as a person, I know how I normally feel. And in this, I feel like these insecurities. It's like, I love you, some things line up. I have so many great memories with you. I have fun with you, but for some reason I have to the reason that I have to drop this, the reason that I can't continue <laughs> it could be that somebody um, you know how it is there's the people that you can have fun with. You, you got your travel buddies. You got your pen and pal. You got your shopping. You got your kiki. Go out after work. Have a drink. And then you got that laying on the hands. You know, meat and potatoes. You know, steady Eddie. <laughs> That's the one you want to marry. You know what I mean? You want to marry steady Eddie. You don't want to marry... Uh, Passionate Paul. <laughs> you know. Freaky Freddy. Freaky Friday Night Freddy. I'm not saying that this person didn't truly and genuinely desire connection. I just feel like there were components that may have been missing. And that's not to say that this person is taking all the blame. I just think, you know, sometimes when you can identify something we're gonna dig a little deeper but i feel like somebody didn't want to handle the somebody wasn't willing to undergo the process of the things that actually sustain a relationship and those things aren't fun and passionate and friday nighty <laughs> you know what i mean so it's like, how can I commit to this? When, again, somebody... I don't know if they're just not in their right mind. <laughs> well, I was thinking of what, they could be mad, too. They could be heartbroken. Somebody could also be mad at themselves. 
time. It's like now I see clearly. Like whereas before I didn't really know about you. Now I see, oh my God, this is who I need to be with. But it just feels so after the fact, you know? And so there's somebody here who's like, okay, Queen of Wands, Fool card, Seven of Wands. This isn't working. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. It's like somebody here is getting their wings. Person number two. I waited and I waited. And the longer I waited, the more confusing shit became. Something, it's like this person, it's, we got three kings, no? King of Cups and King of Pentacles in the reverse, but the King of Wands is in the upright. So it's like, you fine. There's like a go-getter type of energy to it. But you avoid the problems. You avoid the real shit. And I don't feel like that's something that I can invest my, I can, I feel safe investing my hard time life into. Cause you know, the person that you're going to be spending most of your time with, that you, you're going to be building a life with, sharing finances with on and on and on. Now I'm going to need to know you got me. I'm going to need to know. You know, and you're going to need to know I got you. You know, there's a vetting process with that. And if we're looking for four out of four, we got two out of four on this one. If you're looking for your emperor, then you're looking for all four kings. We got three of them here. No, 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 no. We got all four and three of them in the reverse. King of Swords, Pentacles, and Cups is in the reverse. Therefore, the Queen of Cups is in the reverse. I can't put, I can't invest my heart into this. I can't, I don't. It's hard to take something serious and, and, and think about it. Really think about it, okay? If I came to you, okay, and I'm fine, I make good money and all of that, right? But maybe something happened to me in the past. And I can become a little violent sometimes. You know, I have a problem controlling my emotions. But we get along so great, and it's just so great. But when I get mad, clear the room. Like, it's a problem. And it creates long-term problems. Because when you lose your cool like that, shit gets, shit happens. You know what I mean? So I might have a, a bit of a record. I might have some domestic violence stuff on my, you know, I might have... You know, we might be banned from a few restaurants that you really like to go to. You know what I'm saying? It's like a problem. Let's say that I'm always so thoughtful and, I, and, I'm, and I'm always buying you gifts and things like that. But then when it's time, uh, I don't know, something happens to one of our cars or... I don't know, something happens with one of the children. I don't know, something happens with the hot water heater. We have to buy an appliance. We have to move house. But you haven't been paying the, the mortgage. You haven't been paying the credit card bills. You haven't been, like, you're irresponsible with the finances. No. <laughs> Deal breaker. <laughs> like, done. I need to know that I can close my eyes. And in the morning, everything's going to be okay. That's what I need to know, most importantly. You know, sex is cool. It only lasts for however long <laughs> you last, okay? Or they last. You know, and that, and it should be good. There should be passion. There should be love. There should be fun. There should be accountability. There should be um, responsibility. There should be, you know, effort. Nobody said you had to show up perfect. Nobody said you had to show up completely healed because healing is a continual process. And the only thing anybody's asking you for is to be willing to undergo the process. That's it. The rest of it, we've been way too hard on each other. But you have to go with what makes you happy. Okay, I went off on a whole tangent. What else did I want to look at? So... I think we saw the feelings, but I want to look at something. Try that one more time. 
Some of you could have met during the summer or whatever Indian summer is. Somebody tell me in the comments if y'all know what that means. I feel like you guys started off friends. We may have taken some trips together. You both view each other as wanting, wait, let me not say that first. One person wants to commit but is afraid that they would be wasting their time. And somebody over here wants a new start. So person number one, I feel like so I've been on a break. I'm wanting this person to come back, or I thought this person would come back. We have a very strong connection. I didn't want this to end. But he didn't do anything. King of Wands in the reverse. Knight of Wands in the reverse. Knight of Cups in the reverse. So, number one views number two as wasting their time. Nobody did anything about this. It's like nothing happened. It was just a, it just open. Like it's almost like uh, I don't know. You ever seen one of those paintings and it looks like? Did he finish? It's like an unfinished painting. I feel like it has its beauty. It has its flaws. It has its. Like, you can appreciate it. Us artsy-fartsies can appreciate it, but there's always going to be that one person that's like, I don't think you finished. Like, somebody just dropped a damn paintbrush. Nobody signed it. It's just one of them things that happen. The song that's playing right now is called Falling Short. King of Wands in reverse, Emperor in the reverse, Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups in the reverse <laughs> is the definition of falling short. So, this other person, uninterested, switching focus, disappointed, feeling the pain of the ending, but looking forward to, it's like I wanted to hold on to this. I wanted to start this again. It feels like a missed opportunity to me, but there's an urgency in my spirit to move on from this. Number one. Person number one is hiding something, okay? <laughs> and I feel like they're afraid that if they open up about whatever this is, that um, they will be rejected. So I give up. This person only wants you. Or you only want them, however the case is. I think what they're hiding is not cheating. I don't think it's cheating. They just want you to lighten up a little bit. There could be gossip. Or there could be people that have been telling this person to let you go or however. I feel like this person is trying to learn how to take accountability. This person doesn't feel like you're good for them or take it how it resonates. I don't want you to see me like this, but I do miss your energy. What else? Someone you don't notice. They feel unnoticed. It feels like it all happened so out of the blue for this person. They feel like they're giving more to the relationship.
And playing the blame game isn't going to fix things, right? I feel like that, that could have been an issue between the two of you. Well, you did this and you did this. Well, what are we going to do about it? And I feel like if the two of you have a really big issue, like just communicating those feelings with each other. Let's look at person number two. This person has been running from the truth. I can't wait anymore. It could be it's a lot of history between the two of you. I feel like this person has cold feet. They are in love with you. I know you still love me. Somebody has commitment phobia. Somebody may be may have a problem with um, vulnerability because they have some trust things going on, okay? You're the only one that they want, too. Like, y'all only want each other. Even if you're dealing with other people, which I don't see that. I see somebody over here. Number one is dealing with some internal conflict. Number two is running from the truth afraid to commit why do I feel like the the tables have turned though on this it's like the tables turn at one point it was this was the other way around someone may have children children could be an issue too Why do I feel like the tables will turn? Somebody feels very insecure. I feel like that's what they're hiding about this. Number one. But somebody here has children. Somebody here could be very talented. But I feel like they have baggage. Either they're very talented or very good looking. It's like... You know how you get reeled in by a certain aspect of a person and then you get there and you're like, holy shit, that was just a shell. Or that was just like a book cover. <laughs> you pull the book cover back and you're like, what? Not that the person is bad or anything, but sometimes we just get caught up in people's skill sets and, or how they look or what they can do. <laughs> you know what I mean? When all that's just a gift or it's a, um, I don't know, it's a selling point. <laughs> but it doesn't have anything to do with the person's character. But there's a big lack of trust between the both of you. What's both of y'all fault? Let's look at that. What's the mutual problem? <sighs> Saying yes to each other. And it could be a move, changing of locations. Something's going to be revealed soon. Yes. Yes, changing locations and something's going to be revealed soon. Flowers could be significant. Somebody's feeling the need to focus on themselves. So one person is saying yes and one person is saying no is the problem here. One person is feeling like they need the other. Somebody feels like things may have moved too quickly. And I think during this pause or break, somebody realizes like you have to identify the contributions of each person in your life. You know what I mean? Are you nurturing a strength or a weakness within me? I feel like the way that you two perceive each other think there's something there because for one of you it's like you two have a very telepathic connection as well but it's like for one of you say one of you feels like you need the other I feel like the space has made the heart the heart grow fonder for the other I just feel like the space has made them realize that I need to reprioritize some things in my life I can't do this anymore I have to choose myself but you do make me want to be better you make me want to be better 
but I don't want to feel like I'm in a codependent relationship because I feel there's an energy of I want you, but I don't need this, right? Somebody here may have a little bit of fame. There's some immaturity here. Somebody was too immature. Somebody didn't want to be taken care of. Okay, so I could be picking up on somebody who's very um, independent. But I think the thing that mattered the most was how content you both felt with each other. But there was just somebody who wasn't ready for everything. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm not ready for the whole thing. I don't know why that is, though. So let's just see, what does this person want to say to you specifically, collective? I really wish that I had said everything I should have said to you. I really wish, because you're all I've ever wanted. And I'm not trying to play games with you. This person may have gotten caught for something. You may have caught them in a lie or something like that. They really want to make things right with you. If they are dealing with somebody else, they're still thinking about you. They stay awake thinking about you. Everything reminds them of you. You were right. I know who I love now. I was wrong. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I'm sorry I didn't follow through. I can't ignore the fact that I feel like you're the one for me. This person is also turned on by, not turned on by, it's like, you know, everybody wants, if you're putting up resistance with this person, it's like making them want more, right? Somebody got caught up in the moment though. They got, they got, they got caught up in something here. But they're definitely reminiscing about you. I feel like everything is falling apart. I'm starting to understand. Can you please forgive me? So, I'm going to pull some advice for you. For those of you that are watching. Let's see what the outcome is and then I'll pull advice. outcome between these two. I see someone protecting themselves and moving on. I don't see this moving forward, honestly. And I think it's because the two of you are just not on the same page. We got the we got the sun card in the reverse, which normally represents a no. Someone here is gonna make a decision to avoid this. And I see justice. And I also see some something, I don't know if it's just like. No. I can't feel too insecure about you. You can't bring up too many uh, wrinkles in my forehead before I, I gotta go. Mm -mm. The moment I start feeling my heart rate go up, if it's not about excitement because, you know, we're about to go on a trip or you about to take me to my favorite restaurant or I don't know, you brought me some good reading material or I don't know then if I don't want it I don't want it you know if it's not feeling good I don't I don't want it you know I handle all of my responsibilities I do my job I do all of my adulting during the day and in my personal life it needs to feel great 
It needs to feel great because I do a whole lot of adulting and I, and I know y'all feel the same way. It's like, well, why I can't feel good in this part of my life? Why should I suffer here? You know? Advice for number one. Advice for number two. It's almost like realizing why this person moved on. Somebody had to take care of themselves. It's almost like somebody's happiness depended on not being here or something like that. I, that sounded so bad, but it's like with this feminine energy, the damage was done here. Somebody's already followed their heart and, and set themselves free from this. And maybe even working on the... Like I said, healing is a continual process, but just work. I had to get with me to work on, <laughs> you know, the heartbreak that I was feeling. Something like that. I feel like that's the advice for this for person number one. Or, for, or what I'm seeing here is this is what person number two is doing. And person number one needs to find a way to look at something else because I, I'm, it's almost like somebody's been in denial or somebody's been trying but to no avail and it's like it's time to shift your focus in a more stable direction because this person over here seems to have their mind made up person number two has recognized the pattern of inconsistency and I feel like it's turned someone off it could be cheating. It could be whatever it is. It could be yeah, yeah, everything you were supposed to do or something like that. It was like you. It was. I'm really picking up a supposed to. Somebody's actions created a lot of doubt in this relationship. A lot of disappointment. And I feel like when it was time to communicate about things not to put the blame on just one person because I mean it's impossible to put the blame just on one person but I do feel like there was somebody who was a little more responsible for the state that you two are in now right so when it was time to talk about it when it was time to do something about it I don't think a lot was being done so I feel like one person has moved on already and I feel like the other person may be coming to why this is actually happening. Like, really why? Because like I said, I feel like somebody really wasn't sober for most of this. I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comments. I pulled a Moonology card. Some of you may be dealing with Leo. We got New Moon and Leo. Shine, baby. A new day is dawning. You're moving from darker times into the light, and you are well on your way to the desired outcome. Be proud of who you are and who you're becoming. Now, wait, your self-confidence has gotten you this far. I feel like this is person, I don't know. I'm confused as to who number one and number two is, but y'all know who it is. Um, Sometimes we have to fake it until we make it. Somebody had to get by themselves and say, I got to get me right. I don't have to be, like I said, completely healed or anything like that. But I got to get myself to a point where, you know, I can still show up. Because no matter what's going on, I still got to take care of my house. I got to take care of the kids. I still got to go to work. I still got to do this. So somebody took time to themselves to reprioritize. And I feel like they enjoyed that space. Right? So I feel like that's who I'm talking to right now. You're right on track and your future is bright. And relationships carry yourself with respect and other people will too. Somebody had to create some boundaries and I feel like they became very much more comfortable in that place and it kind of threw the other person off that I thought we was coming back together, something like that, right? Whatever challenges you're facing, consider taking a more creative approach. 
This card is especially good sign for matters related to romance, creativity, children, your own or someone else's, or a situation requiring confidence. Love yourself and take the step into center stage. Be generous with others, but also be a little bit selfish when you need to be, okay? I am magnificent and I love me. I'm going to leave y'all with this collective. I hope y'all enjoyed this random message. I'm going to pull too many, but I'm going to read them. <laughs> There was laziness here, y'all. Somebody may have always said, I don't have time, or I don't want to do that. Saying you don't have time is like saying you don't want to. So whatever it is that you're really desiring, if you're not making time for it, do you really want it? Somebody wouldn't put in a lot of effort in because the relationship may have not even been public. Somebody may have got sick of being in the dark, you know, in a shadow of someone else. If it's got to be a secret. Mm. And here's the other part. Like I said, there was a lack of initiative. It was like some things was adding up, but other things wasn't. Just because he or she can afford you doesn't mean that they value you. It's two different things. I was just watching that Tyler Perry's uh, Sisters. I always want to call that show Girlfriends. But, you know, Gary's buying her, like, he, I think he bought her a Rolls Royce. I'm still catching up on the season. It's, it's, it's just one of the shows. I feel guilty for even telling y'all I watched it. <laughs> but sometimes you just got to take your mind away. It's funny, honey. I love Tyler Perry. But on the show, this guy is trash. <laughs> okay? Like, Garbage, garbage, honey. And, but he fine. You know, he is very attractive. But I didn't catch one of the scenes, but I saw that he had had like two women in this girl's bed. There was like a fraud situation that went down. Uh, I think he like abused or nearly killed his ex-wife. Like dude had a rap sheet. You know, but he wanted this girl because she represented a part of him that he didn't feel like he possessed, which was like this pure purity, light, innocence, na naivety, right? And so, you know, he kind of clung on to her and she kept falling for it. So, but when she was ready to put her foot down, he would go through, he would do these big ass stunts. So he bought the girl a Rolls Royce and now she's like, well, what am I supposed, you know? Are not it's it's like here's a Rolls Royce. Can you forget that I had two women in your bed? I don't want to talk about it though. This should solve it. So enjoy it. Um, the doors all open automatically. You know, Italian leather, this and that. But I don't want to talk about whatever is on your mind because that ain't important because I just paid for it. So don't worry about it. Okay. Nip it in the butt. I want to hear it. And if you bring it up, I'm going to turn the shit around on you. Hmm. Was that the dynamic? Was that why she left and, and closed her heart off and was like, fuck this? Probably. Last message. <laughs> Here's the other part. You can't get away from yourself by moving from one place to the other. That's another thing. So whatever the problem was, you're going to take it right with you. And so there's somebody here who wasn't willing to deal with it. <laughs> oh my God. I got this from one of my friends. The best salesmen don't sell products. They sell ideas. Somebody was very good at selling the idea. Of the, I said that earlier. The shell, the perfect man, you know. All of that. But that's 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 how you do it. That's how we end up in shit storms for 10 years. Because somebody sold us an idea. But just because there's potential. if the, What is potential without the corresponding actions? 
What is potential without good character? What is potential without follow through? It's an idea. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. I love you guys. Y'all tell me in the comments how this resonated with you. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.